Welcome to the Oracle Golden Gate YouTube video series. Oracle Golden Gate is the industry's premier multi-cloud technology for building real-time data fabrics, data mesh, and data replication solutions. With class-leading, high-throughput, and extremely low-latency streaming data, Oracle Golden Gate is in a league of its own. Thousands of customers in over 180 countries globally trust Golden Gate with their most important data, and Golden Gate is consistently rated as a top leader for data integration and enterprise data fabrics. One key reason that Golden Gate is one of the most successful integration tools in history is the consistent innovation over more than 20 years. Golden Gate has notched many, many industry firsts for modern event-driven streaming data solutions. Oracle Golden Gate is first and foremost known for its data event capabilities, including long-time leadership for data high availability, transaction replication, and change data capture. More recently, since 2015, the most successful areas of Golden Gate have been in the areas of data pipelines, and stream analytics. Modern technology solutions demand real-time data ingestion, streaming ETL for low latencies, and best-of-breed analytics on data in motion. Golden Gate delivers modern time series analysis in a no-code development package with enterprise class data governance, including best-in-class data security, data verification, and a rich metadata catalog. Another reason that Golden Gate is so successful is that it is truly a tool for all enterprises, supporting a huge variety of common databases, applications, NoSQL data stores, clouds, and messaging systems in a powerful low latency data fabric. Golden Gate's modern microservices architecture is the foundation of real-time data events for the event-driven business, with an easy-to-use browser-based user interface and available cloud services for just pennies per hour, there's nothing stopping you from realizing the future today. Try Golden Gate for free. Follow this link for more information. And now, onwards to the video you came for. Again, thanks everybody for your, um, to introduce um, Peter and Mark. You guys, thanks so much for joining us. Um, I'm going to speak for myself and for my team. This uh, is a session that I've really been looking forward to hearing from you guys on, and uh, we're really fortunate that you've been able uh, to join us today. So uh, by way of a quick introduction, I just want to say hello to Mark uh, from Deloitte and uh, Peter from Lowe's. You guys, uh, welcome to the session. Thanks for joining us. Thanks very Thanks much, for Jeff. Thanks for having us. Yeah, awesome. Uh, and appreciate you guys providing photos as well. And that's, uh, I, I, again, I'll speak for myself. I know when I watch these Zoom meetings, uh, sometimes it can seem a little impersonal. So it's great to see your smiling faces out there. Um, you know, I'll, I've got the presentation on my end, so you guys feel free to uh, tell me when you want to click forward, and uh, I'll just hand it over to you, uh, Peter, right away. Thanks very much, Jeff. All right, uh, <clears throat> just a, a quick introduction of myself. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Good evening. I'm not sure which time zone that we're covering, but I'm Peter Holman, a senior IT infrastructure engineering manager at Lowe's. And I've been a member of the Lowe's family for over nine years now. And the first three years of my tenure at Lowe's, I've worked in the capacity of an Oracle DBA. So I'm truly honor honored to have the opportunity to share some of my Golden Gate related experiences with everyone. Uh, thank you for your time. Okay, um, just real quick here, something about Lowe's. So Lowe's is a Fortune 50 company and the world's second largest home improvement retailer, headquartered in Mooresville, North Carolina. And Mooresville is a town about 20 miles north of Uptown Charlotte. Uh, Lowe's consists of more than 2,200 home improvement and hardware stores across the U.S. and Canada. And we employ over 300,000 associates. So uh, we were also fortunate to have achieved $96 billion in revenue in fiscal year 2021. And, uh, you know, we've achieved this volume of sales given the fact that we were squarely in the middle of a pandemic. It's as everyone on this call is as well. Next slide, please. Okay. In 2019, Lowe's embarked upon a large-scale consolidation effort, which consisted of migrating the entire Oracle database footprint residing on commodity hardware, such as IBM AIX and Red Hat Linux to Exadata. We partnered with BIOS, at that time, and of course, Vise is now Deloitte, um, and they helped us in achieving this goal. A very good partner to work with over the past few years, um, you know, as it relates to Exadata. 
So the first critical application that we've migrated uh, the respective database from our legacy hardware over to Exadata was the IBM Sterling application. And Sterling manages and fulfills orders for both Lowe's.com as well as assists associates in the stores in, pricing, in, in placing orders. So the left side of this slide uh, depicts our legacy Sterling database environment consisting of a four-node rack cluster running Oracle 12CR2 on IBM Power 8 hardware, which is our source database. The database was 15 terabytes in size at the time and consisted of over 1,000 tables. And of course, the right side of this slide depicts the target Exadata database consisting of a four-node rack cluster. So Golden Gate was leveraged to perform this database migration to address the near zero downtime requirement imposed by the business. We also benefited from a database upgrade as a result of this migration since we've migrated from Oracle 12 CR2 to 19C. Okay, so prior to the Go Live event, we've installed Golden Gate on the target system. Okay, it took us a few days to get that configured properly. But, uh, you know, with Golden Gate being in, installed on the target system, there was no impact at all to the customer, being that it wasn't live. And the target system was our Exadata in environment. Uh, we configured downstream replication at the schema level, established integrated extract and replicate Golden Gate processes. This activity ensured that the source and target databases were in sync and continued to remain in sync with the subsequent database transactions. On the day of Go Live, we were very fortunate. Um, <clears throat> this was only a, a two-hour maintenance that took place, uh, but we stopped the application traffic on the source database environment. Then we stopped and restarted the Golden Gate replication in reverse direction. This was done for fallback or risk remediation purposes. Subsequently, we made changes to the application connect string to allow the application to connect to the new Exadata environment. And one thing to point out here is that a single change was made in DNS to allow the application to reference the new Xdata environment. This allowed us to avoid connect string changes to be made within the application. We disabled and uninstalled Golden Gate a week following Go Live as a precaution in case there were any database related issues or fallout as a result of the migration. Another valid point to make is most of the tasks were performed offline in preparation for this migration with zero impact to the application and or users. So that was the beauty of Golden Gate. And I'd like to also say that, you know, we've explored other migration options, including transportable table spaces, but we ultimately landed on Golden Gate option uh, because it gave us the ability to defragment the database on the target side. So this gave us the ability to reset the high water mark within the tables, as well as rebuild all the respective indexes in the target database, you know, which is also good for performance. So, so Peter, um, gave, I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah, I would say one of the best parts of the whole uh, cutover was for the DBA team. We just sat back and watched the application team str uh, struggle, right? So we had a pretty absolutely. Easy. Yes, uh, absolutely. <laughs> There's yeah, no so, bitterness there, though, is there, guys? <laughs> hey, there is no, 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 whatsoever. So Golden Gate really gave us the ability to cut over within the SLA and to be ready for business Monday morning without any issues, you know. Uh, <clears throat> so, like I said, you know, this is a very smooth operation. It was, you know, a, a simple cut, you know, cut over. It gave us and also the business a sense of comfort. So, uh, yeah, it, it worked out very, you know, very well. I would recommend this, this product for any database mi migrations from other platforms you know, to Exadata, for example. Mark, anything else you want to add? One of the best part about being up in Mooresville is we, we uh, as a team, the Bias Deloitte team rented a house on, on the lake and <laughs> we had a communal, a communal effort up there. It was really very nice. So. Absolutely, absolutely. If, if only I could find a way to package that part of the experience with Golden Gate, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be great, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, next slide, please, Jeff. Yep. All right. So in 2020, Lowe's partnered with Oracle to conduct a proof of concept of the Golden Gate for Big Data product. The uh, POC was performed because we would occasionally encounter lags within the replication process for our current solution. So some of the lags encountered uh, were extensive and required multiple teams to get involved to troubleshoot and resolve the issue. 
We've had great success with Golden Gate for Oracle in the past and wanted to understand the capabilities of Golden Gate for big data, right? So it all made sense. Uh, the essence of this POC was to replicate data from the Kronos applications respective Oracle database to big data targets, including Hadoop, okay? And uh, this was really a, a part of a store associate scheduling automation effort that we were putting into place. And uh, so Kronos Workforce Central, just to give you a little background about the application, so Kronos Workforce Central is an employee time tracking and scheduling application used within low stores across the U.S. So the current state objective at the time was to replicate three tables to Kafka in real time and 21 tables to HDFS and one hour badges. The POC or target state objective was to replicate three tables to Kafka, 21 tables to HBase, and 21 tables to HDFS all in real time. Nothing was slated for batch processing under this configuration. And just for your information, we were processing in one hour batches in the current state because Hadoop doesn't process or perform well with a large number of small files. So this is the reason why we opted for batch processing under the current state architecture. So under Golden Gate for big data, we could uh, create a file in Hadoop and continue writing to that file until it reached a certain size or process until a certain date was, was actually met. So this gave us the ability to dictate the Hadoop file size as well as dictate when the file gets rotated. So this is how you know, we're able to successfully process files to a dupe in real time and ensuring performance was in check. We also configured Golden Gate for Big Data with high availability in mind. So it was uh, configured on a two node cluster achieved using Oracle's grid infrastructure. And during the POC testing of the Golden Gate for Big Data product, we've only observed a lag of less than 10 seconds. The same test was conducted against the current state architecture, which consisted of Informatica to be used for the data replication, and a lag of 11 minutes was observed during the POC of critical business functionality testing. So obviously, Golden Gate for Big Data proved to be the superior product for our use case as a result of this POC. Um, it was a fun product. It was fun getting involved. It took about a month, basically, to conduct the uh, Golden Gate for, for big data testing, but it was definitely well worth it. Anything you want to add, Mark? No, not, not at all. Um, I think it was, okay. uh, it was quite a fun uh, uh, POC, that's for sure. Absolutely. Okay. With that being said, on to you, Mark. Well, thank you, Peter. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about uh, some use cases for Golden Gate uh, uh, for maximum availability architecture and, and then some heterogeneous uh, use cases. Um, next slide. Uh, so I'm Mark Saltzman. I'm a specialist leader here at Deloitte. Um, I've been at Deloitte now about a month. Uh, Deloitte acquired uh, Bias uh, Corporation. I was uh, at Bias for over 10 years and prior to that at uh, Oracle uh, Consulting. Uh, you know, Deloitte is a, a, a worldwide firm with um, over, over 26,000 Oracle uh, practitioners. And our team, the cloud engineering team, has a wide uh, depth and breadth of Oracle uh, practitioners, um, basically delivering database and SaaS solutions on-prem and, and in the cloud. Uh, and uh, ne next slide, please. So, you know, I think we're all very familiar with Oracle's maximum availability architecture. I know that um, it's been kind of uh, pounded in my head year over year. And, you know, one of the, 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 the top MA architecture is Platinum. And what Platinum brings to the table is basically a zero recovery time and a zero recovery point architecture uh, for both planned and unplanned outages. And at the center of the Platinum architecture is Golden Gate. And, and quite honestly, at a very high level, you have two regions, East Coast and West Coast. And in each region, you pretty much have two data centers or two availability domains. And you have a primary and a standby database. On top of that, you have local backups. And then you're replicating data between the two regions with, with, with Golden Gate. And that, that replication is active-active, 
with basically conflict de detection. You know, at, at Bias and Deloitte, you know, we have done uh, several, not many, but several of these platinum implementations, one for a very large payment um, uh, company uh, and another one for a very large um, a local um, uh, airline uh, business. And, you know, primarily it's basically platinum on steroids, right? We start off with global data services, which is a tool that, uh, that Oracle has implemented. Uh, think of it almost as a, a big listener uh, that understands where, uh, you know, what the primary database is, what the standby, where the standby is located, we're really where Golden Gate is, what the lag is with Golden Gate, and, and basically routes all incoming transactions. We did this for the, the payment processor, and we've done this, and we did this for the airline as well. And, and really, it gives you a zero downtime uh, methodology that allows for an outage at, 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 the, at the data center or the, at the availability domain. It allows for an outage in the region and, and, and allows for active active. You can split your transactions. If, if microseconds count, you can split your transactions between East Coast and West Coast and really have them sync up with, with Golden Gate uh, conflict detection kind of taking care of duplicates if, if they should, uh, should, should, should happen. Um, pretty much that, that is it for how, how we have leveraged Golden Gate and with maximum availability architecture. And I, I'd like to go over to the, to the next slide. You know, we did talk to Lowe's about implementing it. We, we didn't get there, but there's always hope. Right, Peter? <laughs> Absolutely, Mark. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, another another interesting use case that we had was for for a hotel chain right here in in Atlanta as well. And we used it to really uh migrate an active active solution from from actually from a cloud uh from a cloud provider back to to an on-prem on exadata. Um and we at one point we had four way Active, 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 active replication. It was really quite interesting, and uh, uh, quite a bit of setup went into it. And it allowed us to basically, uh, over time, migrate the databases to to an engineered systems on, on the East Coast and West Coast, and allowed us to also refresh um, basically uh, a single point of truth for for both databases on the East Coast and West Coast. And it worked very, very well, uh, leveraging conflict detect, uh, auto CDR also. Uh, some other use cases of Golden Gate, you know, I think of Golden Gate primarily in the, in the traditional sense of Oracle uh, and basically for, for, for migrations or for active active replications. But quite honestly, uh, we've used it also to, to migrate off of, um, of other databases such as DB2 or Sybase. And, and really here at uh, Deloitte and, and, and at Bias, we've used it to basically upgrade off of DB2, uh, upgrade applications such as JD Edwards off of DB2 and onto Oracle. And on top of doing the migration, we've also been able to upgrade uh, the data, upgrade the application and actually the entire schema uh, in the process, kind of in flight. Uh, we also, for a very major bank uh, out, of, out of Charlotte, did a very large Sybase to Oracle migration and consolidation off of very old legacy Solaris uh, hardware on, onto, onto Exadata. And we wrote, we wrote it to where we can always flash back and then rebuild uh, and, and rebuild for testing uh, the, the databases and, and the configurations for, for Golden Gate. It was, it was quite an exciting project over about 18 months, actually. You know, some other, some other use cases that, that are going on right now, actually, um, we, we basically are using uh, Oracle to SQL Server in an active, active replication for, <coughs> for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Um, they, they needed to migrate to, to the cloud, to the Azure cloud, and we've got that running for them 
uh, at, at the present time. It, it works quite well. Of course, there are limitations with DDL, uh, but, but it works. It, it's, it's working very well at the moment. Uh, we also have Oracle uh, to Azure for big data uh, for, for, um, for, for analytics. And then DB2 to Oracle um, on AWS, we're, we're doing that also for a for credit uh, card uh, processing company. And really, there's no – the limit you have for Golden Gate and is, is basically your imagination, really. You can get it to kind of do what you need it to do um, if, you, if you open your mind, as, as I look at it. So – and I think I think with that our our time is up. But I'm, I'm glad to answer any questions uh, in the chat. Also, uh, you know I really appreciate you um, that last comment you made. I've never heard anyone kind of put it quite that way before. As far as the you know imagination um, is the only limit uh, to to what you can envision for for using Golding. That's a you know I, I appreciate you bringing that up because a lot of people do, as you said, a lot of people do think about. Um, Golden Gate is kind of being in this these Oracle to Oracle environments, and you know, uh, Peter and Mark, you guys have both shown some great use cases here that span, you know, Oracle, DB2, SQL Server, Sybase, Kafka, HBase, Hadoop, um, etc. So this was, yeah. Thank you guys so much for this. this is a really powerful.